going back to the table um, I have 10, 5 and discrete variable distribution well with discrete variable uh, discrete variable is nice in a way because if you know what your variable is you can tell exactly what values that variable can take so for instance if you see here in this problem number one, we have a ballet instructor who is interested in knowing what percent of um, each year's class will continue to the next year. Okay. So over the years, she established the following probability distribution. distribution. So let X be the number of years a student will study ballet with the teacher. So we have here... Um, x that runs between well actually 0 and 7 you see that 0 is not presented here the reason is that the probability is equal to 0 in this case right so it's not really of our interest now what we will also do let me just make it a little larger here and move so remember what the probability distribution is by definition the total must be equal to 1. So that makes it a probability distribution, the total probability, because we're talking about population. So um, now, as you can see, that the probability of x equals 4, 4 years, is missing. So let's do uh, the math and find out what value will correspond to 4. So 10 plus 5, 15, 25, um, 55, 85, so 0.15 must be filling in this slot here. Now, we need to find out what is x times p of x. And you will probably see why. Remember, the uh, mean of the probability distribution table is equal to uh, uh, the sum of x times p of x. This is our mu or so-called expected value. So that's how long we expect students to take ballet with the same teacher. Okay, so let's do the math real quick. So 1 times 0 0.10 is 0 0.10. 2 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.10. 3 times uh, 0.10 is 0.30. 4 times 0 0.15 is 0 0.60. 5 times 0 0.3 is uh, 1.5. 6 times 0.20 is 1.2, and we have 0.7 here. All right. Now let's look at the questions. So in, fine, uh, in words, define the random variable x. So I actually have x here. It's the number of years a student will study ballet with a teacher. Okay, so it's exactly the number of years students study ballet with the teacher. Okay. So let's take a look at the next question. What is the probability of x equals 4? So I need to go back to the table. And um, here it is, right? So for 4, the one that we found before. So that would be 0 0.15. All right. Next question is on the next page. Find the probability that x is less than 4. Now, first, let's understand what it means, uh, less than 4. So, that would be the probability of x equals 1. Or, it can be probability of x equals 2. Or probability of x equals 3, right? 4 we cannot include because it's strictly less than 4. 
So, getting back here, 0 0.10 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.10 will give me 0 0.25. Now, on average, how many years would you expect? So, this is my expected value or mean. So, see now, mean has a new meaning, right? It is called the expected value. So, how many years would we expect people to study ballet? Okay, so for this we need to add our column x times p of x. So in your table, take a look at all the values that we calculated when we multiplied and add them all up. So when I did that, I got 4.5 years. Now what does the column p of x sum to? So, um, the sum of p of x must always be equal to 1, always. Why? Well, because when we define x, we look at all possible values from 0 to whatever our n is, the maximum value. So, we include every single x. So, the entire population is included. That's why the total of all probabilities must be equal to 1 because we don't exclude any single value. Okay, so please let me know if you have any questions on lesson 10.